and words that have specific meaning and purpose to you about who you are becoming and who you plan to become. And it should be all tied into what you're going to get done this year. And it all should be under the umbrella of the ultimate ideal freak freedom lifestyle that you're looking to achieve and, and live under and be flame burning. The flame keeper is the one who's tending to the fire and, and the, the fire that must be kept burning in your people. It means keeping the ideas alive and keeping the ideals alive of your people. The What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we're talking about who you are and who you're going to be in the upcoming year, your themes, your themes of the year as a person, as a man, as a husband, as a father. What are your themes? What are your words going to keep you in alignment with your assignment this year? What are you going to be all about? What are you going to stand for? And I'll tell you what, when I do these for the year, it's not like they last just for the year. I read, I drill these into my head every year and I, I just stack the new year on top of it. It's not like you're done being those things when the year's over. You're just adding to it. It's your constant and never-ending improvement. That's what we're going to be talking about and diving deep into and helping you craft your own theme and words for the year coming up. And this is all part of a yearly review, a yearly debrief that the Free Family and I do every year. And we're actually going to go to that debrief on an upcoming episode about and part of creating your theme is just a piece of the puzzle that yearly review we're going to dive deep into all that here on the steve ecker show which as you know is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses badass mindset guiding you to adapt overcome and destroy the obstacles preventing your success in your mindset your family your fitness and your business so you can stop being a little bitch get your shit together Start living life on your own freaking terms, all while you create your own ideal freak freedom lifestyle, transforming from where you are to where you want to be, need to be, and yourself and your family deserves for you to be. And in order to stay in alignment and have that transformation, you have to be growing and getting better every year. And that's where this yearly theme and these yearly words come into play. This is like your your guiding GPS, your North Star keeps you on track, keeps you focused, keeps you checked in throughout the year. Now, again, every year, and if you right here in my journal, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm writing it down every single day. I could pick any day randomly. You'll see down on the side. I literally write down all the themes of the year for the last, we're, we're now going to the 2024 theme of the year. I have 2023, 2022, and 2021 themes of the year. And I literally write them down every day because what good is it to drill it into my head for a year so instead, I'm stacking on top of it. So usually, and, and there's really no rules to how you create this. You, you can have an overarching word of the year and then a theme and then some more words. You could have just a theme of the year and a couple words that go with it. Whatever works for you, but they shouldn't just be some generic bullshit. These should be things, themes, and words that have specific meaning and purpose to you about who you are becoming and who you plan to become. And it should be all tied into what you're going to get done this year. And it all should be under the umbrella of the ultimate ideal freak freedom lifestyle that you're looking to achieve and, and live under and become. And we did a whole other episode uh, several months back on creating that freak freedom lifestyle. So go back and watch that episode because this theme ties directly into this. This theme should be in alignment with that freak freedom lifestyle that you're, you're going into. So before I get into this year's themes, I wanted to give you a recap of previous year's themes. So in 2020, 2021, the theme was create, connect, and close. And I literally have written that down. So if I wrote that down every single day in 2021, every single day in 2022, and every single day in 2023. And now I'll continue to write that. That's three years. I've literally written down that create, connect, and close three years in a row every day. And then in 2022, I added on the theme of the year for 2022, which was slow down, weaponize, and explode. And I could break all those down, but I really want to focus on this year's theme. So I'm not going to break those all down. You can get the the hint to them, the whole purpose of them is to keep them pretty simple where they don't need much explanation. This year's needs actually a little more explanation because they were a little deeper thought put behind them even. But think about it, 2021, create, 
create, connect, and close. Close deals, close loops, don't keep things open-ended, take th- see things through to the finish line. In 2020, that was 2021. In 2022 was slow down, weaponize, and explode. To slow down so that you can weaponize everything around you, make use of everything around you, even the fuck-ups and the failures, so that you can explode in all areas of life personally, professionally, with health and fitness, explode. Then 2023 saw, with the theme was be bold and stand out. Be bold slash stand out. The words of the year for 2023 were violence, execution, and elevation. Now, that sounds pretty rough, but it violence just means attack the day, attack the goals violently. Violence of action in everything you do. Not hesitating, not procrastinating, not bullshitting, just getting shit done. Attacking the day. And then executing. Don't just violently attack it. Actually execute on the things you say you're going to excite. Be a man of your word and make a promise that you keep it, like we say in the project. Then elevating. Using that violence of action, that execution and implementation to elevate yourself personally, professionally, and health visit. Elevate yourself in what we talk about in the Freak Father Alliance, in your mastery, in your mindset, your muscles, your money, your mission, and your meaning. Elevating in all those different areas. That's what it's all about. And that leads to this year, this year's theme. And I, and, and I broke the rules a little bit. There used to be just one theme of the year and then three single words. You know what? It's your life. It's your theme. It's your fucking year. It's your lifestyle. It's your goals. There's no fucking rules. You, you create this however it fits you. So I went off and did a little different this year and that's fine. So I have a overarching theme word of the year and the main one this one is the umbrella to everything and i'm gonna give you the whole breakdown of the theme and then i'm gonna break down each piece in that theme afterwards so you gotta see where i'm coming from everything should have a specific meaning to you shouldn't just be some bullshit like oh my theme of the year is discipline and growth and whatever and it's just some bullshit generic stuff that you're just using a, a textbook definition of it doesn't mean anything to you personally and doesn't tie into the fucking lifestyle you want to live and the, and the goals you have and the family and the leadership you have and, and and not into you being the one not into you being the freak father like we talk about in the freak father alliance the the men's mentorship group coaching program but let me break it down my overarching theme of the year the word of the year the single word that i could just check in with and boom and have a change of state is intentionality. That is the overarching like theme word of the year. Intentionality. And I'm gonna break down what each of these mean in a second. But I want to give you the whole picture of the framework first. Then after that, what does that intentionality mean? It means be the one, which we had an entire episode before this on be the one. That's why I did that first. So it kind of made sense. I don't want to break, have to spend so much time talking about being the one here, but we'll go into a quick recap of that. So intentionality means be the one, be here and be the force. And then the single words that follow along with that are overwatch, flame keeper, and then even slash yet. I'm going to break all these down so you understand what the hell I'm talking about. But this all ties into being intentional as a freak father, as the leader of your world, as the fucking man you were meant to become and that you were freaking created for on this freaking planet. So let's break it down. Intentionality. Intentionality is being deliberate or purposeful in what you're doing. Everything is well thought out. You are operating with meaning and purpose in every fucking thing you do. Nothing is done with a waste of time. Nothing unplanned or accidental or by chance. There's no wasted time. There's no distraction. There's no bullshit. There's no sidetracking. No wasted time, no wasted fucking energy, which means no wasted life because you know time is energy and energy is life and intentionality means you're not fucking wasting any of that shit because it's too important of a resource. It's making deliberate choices to reflect on the shit that's most important to you in your mission, in your, in your meaning as a freak father, as a man, as being the one. It's having focus and commitment on the mission as a man putting the mission over the man, being intentional about every single little thing with strategy and structure, being tactical, tactical and technical. That's what we're talking about intentionality. And that's the way I I click into this, how it ties into the overall goals that I have for the year and and the intentions for the year, intentionality, everything gets wrapped up into it. Everything is done with a purpose. And part of 
the the goal of the year is to tie the family and the kids into everything we're doing, both personally, professionally, with health and fitness goals, all the businesses we do, working on them and running them together and doing shit together and projects together. Like we created the, as a family, the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula. That's the last training program, last workout program you ever need. You, you Once you purchase it, you have lifetime access to it with a one-time purchase and it's literally unlimited. That's why it's called Infinite. You literally could do create a different training program, a different workout every day for the rest of your life. That's the next level. That's what what intentional means. Doing shit like that, creating it together, creating a YouTube channel as a family, creating other businesses as a family. This, This podcast right now, all of our podcasts are done as a family with the kids who are there producing them, helping edit them, record them, whatever else. Creating thumbnails and you uh, helping to post them and all this other stuff, Cre- doing stuff as a family, even stuff that is, is business minded, but also personal and professional and workouts and health and fitness, all tied into the family. Everything is intentional about, all right, how does this fit into this freak freedom lifestyle that I'm looking to freaking live? So let's go into the next segment of be the one, be here, be the force. This means being aware of uh, situational awareness, being self-awareness, being present, being, a, you're, where, being where your boots are. Wherever you are, that's where you are. You're not scatter fucking brained all over the place like a gerbil spinning on the wheel, not paying attention to what you're doing. That's why all this falls under intentionality. It's all about being that force, being the one we talked about in, in, previous, in the previous episode about being the one that every, your family looks up to and wants to be like and is looking to for discipline and for energy and for confidence and for support and to be a protector and to a provider, the one that people turn to in, 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 in stress and in chaos and in emergency and turn to for leadership and to, be, to, to, to follow you and for guidance and for mentorship, be the one. But the only way to do that is to be self-aware and to be present and to be where the fuck you are and to be focused and disciplined and having commitment to what you're doing. It means what you do and what you speak and what you think and what you believe and what you feel. That's what be the one, be here, be the force is all about. What you do, speak, think, believe, and feel. Being that force, injecting that force of being the one into the universe around you, into the people around you, your family, your friends, your kids, the people that are important to you, the people that fucking matter with intentionality and disregarding the ones that don't freaking matter. Prioritizing with your purpose, with your family, your faith, yourself, your God, your higher calling. That's what being the one, being here and being the force means. Then let's go to the words, overwatch. And I love these words. They have a deep meaning personally to me. The overwatch, that's the man. That's the freak father that we talk about in the freak father alliance. That's what being the one is about. The one that's on overwatch, the protector, on guard, defending, watching over. And just because you listen, as I'm breaking this down, yeah, yeah, these are my themes of the year, my words of the year, whatever you want to say. These are for any man for all the time, all year long, every fucking year. So you should be following these as a man also. Yes, you should come up with your own theme and your own words of the year, but you should also be following these and thinking this way and living this way as a freak father, as the, the, the one. So Overwatch, the protector on guard, defending, watching over. It's a, think about Overwatch, like a, a sniper in the military. They're not just there to snipe. They are giving focused protection to their people their troops, while the troops are executing all their own mission. So that the troops, your family, your kids, your spouse, your team, your friends are out there all over the place doing different missions, different places. And you are giving focused protection, overwatch, overwatching all of them so that they can all execute their own missions. You are providing that overwatch, watching over them while they achieve their goals under your watch and supervision and support and leadership, and guidance, and mentorship. Now, overwatch means you're, you're staying alert. You're staying awake. You're giving, in, in the military, it's, it's to give support by fire of, of another element that's moving around. So they're moving, and you're giving support. You are keeping the, 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 that fire. And it mean, could mean you're giving, you're on overwatch offensively. It could mean defensively. 
It can mean giving support or it can mean just artillery, bombs, nuclear explosions. Like when it's time to come in with that Overwatch and drop the motherfucking Thor's hammer, you are there. You are the one, that freak father that drops it, dropping the bombs when it's needed. Again, that Overwatch's offense, defense, it's supportive, but it's also ready to bring the motherfucking thunder when it's needed. And again, it's to support by fire. Another element that's moving and that fire leads into the next word, the flame keeper. If you watch the series 100, you saw one of the most important roles that kept the ideals, kept their gods alive, kept their people alive, kept their hope alive was the flame keeper. The flame keeper would protect their pretty much entire existence by protecting, ready to kill for and die for and do whatever it takes to keep that flame lit, to keep that flame burning. The flame keeper is the one who's tending to the fire and, and the, the fire that must be kept burning in your people. It means keeping the ideas alive and keeping the ideals alive of your people the, and keeping it going and keeping the lifestyle alive. You give a lifestyle to your people as the man, as the father. It's your job. The flame keeper keeps that lifestyle going that you created. And a flamethrower is even throwing that flame out there to light the fire under the asses around the people around you to keep it lit. You're the flame keeper, but you're also the fucking flamethrower being infectious with precision and intentionality. She's not just burning down the fucking house. That's what the flame keeper does. Maintaining order and discipline, bringing the energy and fire and motivation and momentum to keep the belief and the faith alive, keep it burning and growing and building and spreading the fire. The flame keeper is is the bringer of fire, the bringer of fear, the bringer of fun, the bringer of time and energy and life. That's what the flame keeper is doing, is protecting and preserving the time and the energy and the life. That's the freaking flame keeper. A powerful fucking role as a man, especially in today's fucked up world. And then that wraps up with even slash yet. I want you to dig deep into this. It's so simple, but so fucking powerful. Imagine if everything you thought about in your life, you threw even and or yet into it. Meaning, all right, are, are, you, a, are you a good father? Okay, you're a good father, but you can be an, an even better father. Are you in good shape? Yeah, you're in good shape. You could be in even better shape. Do you have a sick, do you have, do you have, are, you, are you ripped? Are you strong? Yeah, but you could get even stronger. You can get even faster, even healthier, even smarter. Are you rich? Well, you can get even richer or even happier or even wealthier. You can dig even deeper, go even deeper into your your thoughts into your mind into your faith you can go even harder at everything you're fucking doing you can always do even more than the shit you're doing now no matter what the fuck you're doing you can always be doing even more but then let's think of something you don't maybe you don't exactly you're not where you want to be in any of those areas you just said yeah i'm not as strong as i want to be i know i can get even stronger Let's say you want to bench press 300 pounds. Can't bench press 300 pounds yet. You want to make a million dollars a year. I, yeah, I'm making decent money. I'm working hard, but I can work even harder. I could do even more. I can get even richer. I can make even more money, but I'm not making a million dollars yet. So you just throw even and yet. It makes, a, it, makes it limitless. Makes your potential and where you're going limitless as a freaking man. You're not in the shape you want to be yet. You don't have a fucking six-pack abs yet. Talking about six-pack, listen. It says nothing to do what we're talking about, but it's making me think about it. Sometimes we just go off on a wild tangent here. I see motherfuckers on the internet every day talking about they, they train every day, they work out every day, and they eat so healthy, and they do the meal prep on Sundays and this and that, and they track their, their macros and their carbs and the fat and all this other stuff every day. They talk about it and they post about it and they're so disciplined and they're so focused. Motherfucker, take off your shirt. If you ain't got abs, if you don't have a six pack, you're full of fucking shit because if you're doing that shit every day, you would have abs just naturally. It would just happen even without doing a single motherfucking crunch. So stop talking about that shit. 
if you don't have freaking abs because you ain't doing the fucking work you're saying doing. Because you know why? You could do even more and you just don't have abs yet. See how that shit could just flow into everything. You could turn a, a, a pile of shit into something different. It's all about perspective, even and yet. And that rounds out the, the way that my themes and goal are set the year. Now imagine if every day I'm checking into the previous goals and themes of the year of create, connect, and close, of slow down, weaponize, and explode, of be bold and stand out, of violent, execute, and elevate. And now I'm adding in every single day, drilling it into my head, intentionality, be the one, be here. Be the force. Be the overwatch. Be the flame keeper. And into every aspect of life, add in even and yet. Talk about living according to your purpose and fucking exploding as a man, as a human. This year coming up, you become unfucking stoppable You become impenetrable, bulletproof. When this is what, imagine drilling this into your head every freaking morning for a year straight in addition to all those previous things. This is why I have no bad days. This is why I only have awesome days and awesomer days. This is why there's no days off, no half-assing, no breaks, no rest, no fucking cheat days because of shit like this. No, I'm not sitting in a mirror and screaming some Tony Robinson freaking affirmations about whatever. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy or something. I'm not bouncing up and down and screaming some affirmations in the mirror and writing in lipstick on my wall. But I am drilling this shit into my head. But if this shit, listen, if that shit works for you, if that's what it takes to drill it into you, make it part of your bones and your fucking DNA to take your shit to the next level to get even better, then do what you got to do. Do whatever the fuck works for you. But I'm writing, I write this shit down literally every single fucking day. All those words. I even thought back one time, am I wasting my time? And I thought about it. You know what? It takes me a couple seconds. It drills it into my head. It makes it just part of my identity, part of my character, part of who I am. And it seems to be working. So why the hell would I stop it? It keeps it fresh in my head every day. Checking in on it. <coughs> Yeah, I coughed on a podcast, motherfucker. Deal with it. The producer and cameraman's freaking out because I didn't mute the cough. Deal with it. Intentionality. Be here. Be the one. Be the force. Overwatch, Flamekeeper, even yet. These are the themes of the year. What are your themes of the year? I want to see in the comments down below. What did you come up with for your themes of the year? And what, more importantly, what do they mean to you? How do they connect to your freak freedom lifestyle? And what is the purpose behind them? What is the meaning behind them? Let me know. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.